Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 15.1 from Sadiku book. So we are asked to find out the Laplace transform of three function. The first one is RAM function. The second one is exponential function of negative exponent multiplied by some constant. And then this one is similar but with complex exponent. So let's do this one by one. So the first one is the Laplace transform of RAM function. And we need to recall that the RAM function is equal to t multiplied by unit step function ut. Okay. And then we just need to plug this into the definition of Laplace transform. So this is the definition of Laplace transform. Integral from 0 to infinity of ft e to the minus st dt. Okay, just let's plug this function here into the definition. So we will have integral from 0 to infinity. ft is t ut. And then we multiply this by e to the minus st with respect to time. Okay. Now we need to recall our definition of ut. Ut is defined as 0 when t is less than 0. But it is 1 when t is greater than or equal to 1. So our integration bounds here. We will have 0 until infinity. And here our value of ut is always 1. So this will cancel into 1. So this is 1. So we can just erase this. Because yeah, anything multiplied by 1 is itself. So we can just replace this t ut by t. Alright. So we will have this simplified function here. And then from here, what can we do here? This is a polynomial function and this is an exponential function function which is a perfect example of using integration by parts so let's name our parts here as u and our second part here as dv okay now let's rewrite our parts on the right hand side here what can we get from here our u is equal to t and that means that our du is equal to dt right and then our dv is e to the minus st dt if we integrate both sides we will get v is minus 1 over s e to the minus st okay now let's recall the integration by parts formula. So our integration by parts formula will be uv minus integral v du. Okay. So remember that we integrate from 0 to infinity. So we will have this is calculated from 0 to infinity and our limit of integration is also 0 to infinity and now let's plug our parts here so u is t and v is minus 1 over s e to the minus st so we will have this uv as minus 1 over s and then t and then e to the minus st okay okay great and then our v is minus 1 over s so minus will with minus will become plus and then 1 over s is a constant because we integrate to with respect to time so i will have 1 over s here and then we will have t here so e to the minus st and our du is dt so we'll have dt here 
Okay, now let's take a look at the left part of this equation. So if t is equal to infinity, this e to the minus st will approach zero. And then when t is zero, this part will be equal to zero. So that will approach zero too. So zero minus zero, this all of this will cancel into zero. And so we all we only need to worry about that part here on the right. So from here we can integrate this easily and we take one over s first and then we got this is integrated into minus one over s e to the minus s t and the integration limit is from zero to infinity and again if we take a look at this when t is equal to infinity this will approach zero and then we when t is zero e to the zero is equal to one so we will we will get one over s and then the first infinity will make it approach zero and then minus with minus will cancel out and then become positive and then this one will equal to 1 over s so this means that 1 over s multiplied by 1 over s we will get 1 over s squared so we will get the Laplace transform of ram function is 1 over s squared okay so now let's write this up and clean this part. Okay, we got the first question. So the Laplace transform of RAM function is 1 over s squared. So let's now move on to the second function. Okay, we are given that the function is capital A multiplied by e to the minus small a multiplied by t. Okay, that is not a good way to naming a constant. So capital A with small a, that's not a good way to name a person but we are given this from the book so I will just go with it and then let's plug this into our definition of Laplace transform so we will get integral from 0 to infinity and this is a e to the minus a t and we multiply it by e to the minus s t dt but then we can merge the exponent here into one exponent so we'll have minus a t minus s t here but we can take out minus t so we factor out minus t and we will get so we factor out minus t and we can get s plus a right so to make it not confusing i will put our t on the right so this is only the minus sign here and so we can integrate this easily because this is a constant and s plus a is also a constant because our variables is t so we will get a over s plus a and do not forget the sign is negative so we'll have minus a here and then e to the minus s plus a t and then our integration bounds is 0 to infinity so we will have this from 0 to infinity okay and now if we plug t is infinity this will approach zero so e to the minus infinity will approach zero so we will have zero on the first one and then minus minus with minus will become plus and then we got a over s plus a and then e to the zero because we if we plug t 
is equal to 0 here, this will become e to the 0, which is 1. And so we will get this as a divided by s plus a, which is the Laplace transform of this second function. So let's clean this up and move on to the third function. Okay, now let's move on to the third function here. We are asked to find the Laplace transform of this function. Okay, now let's just plug this function into the Laplace transform definition. So we will get this integral of 0 to infinity. Our ft is b e to the minus j omega t e to the minus s t dt. But then we can join the exponent, so we will have minus st, and we can factor out minus t, so we will have minus t s plus j omega, and to make it not confusing, we put our t here instead of in the front, so we'll have like this. And this is a standard exponential form, so we can integrate this easily. So we will have minus b divided by the exponent here, s plus j omega. And then multiplied by e to the minus s plus j omega t. And our integration bounds is from 0 to infinity and when this t is approach infinity this all of this will approach 0 so we will have 0 and then minus with minus becomes plus and then let's rewrite this first p divided by s plus j omega and when t is equal to 0 this will become e to the 0 and e to the 0 will equal to 1 right so we will have this equal to p over s plus j omega so the laplace transform of this function is just b over s plus j omega so we have solved all the question from practice problem 15.1 and we are done and please leave comments if i make mistakes in my calculation okay thank you bye bye